French nips again. Out here in the garage, a little bit of goofing around tonight, and uh, I wanted to uh, throw together a little uh, video for you guys. First look at this new, uh, it's just a loaner to the channel, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, one of the one of the friends over at the Rifle Club uh, brought this in. The same guy who uh, had the uh, Sheridan, uh, Sheridan uh, Blue Streak that I repaired for him a couple weeks ago. He brought this in for me to take a look at, and uh, I asked him if he'd let me borrow it for a week or so just to do some testing with it and review, and uh, he said, sure. Um, we have a Benjamin Trail NP, which stands for Nitro Piston. This particular one is in, in 177 caliber. I believe these came in 22 caliber as well. I've been shopping around for one of these for a while, just haven't uh, decided to buy one yet, but he bought this used. Um, and it did have the iron sights on it when he got it, but he did mount up the scope and uh, it's kind of funny This is a Burris nice old vintage Burris 2x scope. This thing is worth probably four times what this gun's worth um, But it uh, it's doing a pretty good job with it <clears throat> um, He said it was firing pretty good. He did have one complaint that the trigger was very horrendous on this thing and uh, Actually, I did a little bit of digging and what I found was uh, Right down here behind the trigger blade, um, there is supposed to be an uh, over-travel adjustment screw, a screw and uh, it was missing on this one, so it was taking like three quarters of an inch of over-travel before you ever got to where the um, trigger was going to break over. It's still not a terrific trigger, but it's uh, not a ton of over-travel and everything like that, so, uh, but uh, it's going to be a pretty cool uh short little stay here in the garage playing with this thing i think but uh we'll go ahead and shoot a couple of groups across the garage here i've got some uh meister coogans out here those are some nice light ones and then uh i was going to try actually i didn't open them up yet but uh, so i've got the seven grain meister coogans you guys know i like those and then uh so anyway i was able to find a uh, i'm not sure what size screw it was it's a uh, I believe it's definitely a metric screw. Uh, I didn't find it in my gunsmithing stuff. <clears throat> I actually found it in uh, my tin of stuff from uh, my days of working on RC cars. And almost all of those, all that hardware is all uh, metric. So very small, very small, very fine threads. But I found one that went in there and it's definitely a lot better. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll shoot some. I do want to say... Uh, Thank you to Splatterburst Targets for sending over the uh, targets we're going to be using in the uh, video today. And a lot of videos in the future. They are uh, kind of a new sponsor for the <clears throat> for the channel, and uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, helps out a lot. I don't have to buy targets. That helps out. Gonna take a little bit getting used to looking through a, a magnified scope on this pistol. I, I haven't done a lot of shooting with pistol scopes, uh, either open sights or red dots, which are unmagnified. That's pretty much all I've ever done. So, I'm using uh, just these smallest little one inch. Uh, they're actually intended to be pasters for these three inch targets, but I'm using them as my main targets down there So you guys know how small those targets are I have tried I have tried magnified scopes before on pistols and just like this one I, I just can't get used to that bouncing just so much bouncing around when you're, not, when you're looking through an unmagnified thing, the, the bouncing isn't nearly as bad, so. He was complaining that it wasn't very, wasn't very accurate, and I think it probably had a lot to do with the trigger being completely woeful on it. 
it's still not great like I said but it's a whole lot better than when I started out it's not bad I kept all of them all but one of them on that one inch dot so that's not bad let's uh, go ahead and try these rifle cutters I'll, uh, I'll do a full workup on this thing, do some chronograph testing and some trigger pull testing and stuff in another video. But I just wanted to give you guys a, a first look at this thing for tonight and uh, see if you guys had any thoughts on it. I know uh, Loki Air Gunner, he had one of these or has one of these and he's had nothing but trouble with it. So I, I'm not sure what the problem he's having with it. Seems to like these ones too. I guess the uh, the owner he's only tested it with Crossman Premier Hollow Points. It's uh, the 7.4 grains, I believe they were. Um, so maybe this gun just doesn't like those pellets. But uh, seems to be shooting really good with these ones. So. Uh, might have to try uh, putting it on a bench rest and see if we can do pellet after pellet in the same hole. Nice. <laughs> it really likes these rifle cutters from what I can see here. The trigger isn't isn't horrible. I'm guessing it's probably around a three pound trigger now without hardly any creep at all. Nice. I kept all of them on the, that one inch dot. That is pretty awesome. So, all right. Well, I'm going to keep this one short for you guys for tonight, but uh, I thought you guys would appreciate seeing this. Uh, it does have a cocking aid up here in the front you can take off. Um, kind of looks like a muzzle device, but it's really not. It's just a cocking aid. Um, it really helps out a lot, though, because this thing has some power. I'm guessing it's probably in the 500 foot per second area uh, from the way it sounds anyway but uh, there you go i'll wrap it up for tonight uh, some pretty good grouping right off the bat i haven't i mean i literally i was shooting a little low i i just did a little bit of zero work on it and then these are the first groups i really shot with it so uh pretty darn awesome so anyway there you go thanks a lot dave for letting me borrow it and uh We'll do a couple more videos on it, maybe a head-to-head -head or two, and then we'll get it back to them. So, anyway, till next time, have a great day.